Hey everyone, Ernie Tech here, and I'm playing with something. Um, I'm going to call it groundbreaking, but not necessarily uh, magical. Well, maybe it is magical, but it's an amazing piece of software that I found in my cruising through the world of almost free software, and it does a couple of things really, really well. But one of the things that it does is it helps my poor old eyes, because I'm using... An FT991A, and if anybody who is of a certain age knows, an FT991A, for all of its power, has an itty-bitty tiny screen. And the itty-bitty tiny screen is a bear to play with and look at. Um, it's not for sale. I like my radio, but I would maybe someday consider something a little bit... But you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, he hit stuff. Go ahead, knock stuff over there. Sure. Okay. So I had been thinking about installing a one of these guys. Now, one of these guys is little rtlsdr.coms and their little tiny itty bitty SDR, you know, they are little dongles. You know, you realize that in 1945, that this entire room here would be filled with radios. And in the year 2024, almost 25, that's all in there. Isn't that tiny thing? Anyhow, uh, there's a lot of instructions out there for putting this inside of here. No way, no how, baby. I am not opening this thing up and playing with solder and killing it all and regretting, regretting regrets. So I thought about, well, how do I do this? So there's a couple of ways to do it. One of the ways is you can actually, you can actually have this thing in the shack. You can actually have it hooked up to its, um, its software, which is called a SDR Sharp. And there's a way to do it, but there's a problem. The problem is, is that as soon as you transmit, you overload this bugger because it's on a different aerial and it becomes a complete mess and you'd have to put a TR box in and no, ain't happening. More research, and I came across cat sync. Now, I have a bunch of cats, and they're never in sync, so I was very dubious about this. But, turns out, it's an awesome piece of software for awfully little dollars. In fact, it's made by, who is it, DJ0MV. Why am I not a good programmer? Why can't I write this stuff? Why? Because I, I can't. But anyway, for 9.982365 euros, which I think equates to about $10.03, something like that, you can get this thing. There's a demo version, but don't worry about that. Just buy it. All right, let me see if I can explain this. It's going to be hard to explain, but I'm going to try without putting you to sleep or without putting me to sleep. If you hear a thud, it's my head falling on the table because I passed out because it's a little tedious, but not. Okay, bear with me. This radio here has got a cat. Lots of things got a cat. I got a cat. I got a boss who's a cat. Tons of radios do. You might have a radio that doesn't have one of these displays. You might not have a 101 MXDX90325. You might not have those kind of bucks. But it has cat. You can cat control it, even if it's rudimentary. So there's a piece of software out there from Afrit that I think most hams know about called OmniRig. And OmniRig is something that we should all have. It lets you mix and match sources. It lets you control cat-controlled radios using, I don't know, left-hand smoke shifters. I think even Shakespeare could probably control your radio using using OmniRig. I'll put the link below. So OmniRig is a thing that interfaces between your radio's cat port or your com port and other things, whatever. Okay, FL Rig, FL Digi. You name it. If there's not a definition in some piece of software for your radio natively, you can talk through it through OmniRig. Okay, enough on that. So OmniRig is what this guy's using to do something miraculous. Now, you see this waterfall right here? This waterfall is from an online SDR receiver from a guy in Elmira, New York. I'm down here in Philadelphia. And online, there are hundreds of SDR radios, the El Cheapo kind and the most expensive kind and everything in between. And these guys have put them online for your using, 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 using pleasure. But normally you have to use your mouse and you have to do it through your browser. But what if I told you you could use your radio? Yeah, you heard me. Any radio, any radio that has cat cat commands, computer controlled commands that OmniRig is aware of, and it's aware of a boatload of them, you can use your radio to control, hang on boys and girls, 
the other guy's SDR online web radio. He don't even know about it. <laughs> you with me so far? Let me show you something. This is nuts. Okay. Volume up. Okay, some kind of uh, something going on. Right now, my radio is on 14255. Do you notice over here that this thing is also on 14255? Uh-huh. What if I turn to 14, I don't know, to something, something, something. Come on. Be there. All right. Be there. Let me fast it. There we go. There we go. This guy. All right. Now, this guy I'm listening to, I'm not listening to it. I'm not listening to him through my radio. This is tuning the other guy's radio. I am tuning the web SDR, any web SDR, Kiwi, um, OpenRx, AirSpy, whatever. If it's online, this software will let your radio control. All right, turn him. This software will let your cat-controlled radio control that radio online. And the guy doesn't even have to know about it. Nobody knows about it. It doesn't do anything. It just, it's just selecting the, uh, the IQ stream, as it were. It's no big deal to anybody. But watch this. This, this, is, this guy needs, he deserves a Nobel Prize. So I go over here to favorites. And I bring that over. And it says, okay, here's a great feature. You have web SDR list, Kiwi SDR list, and open web RX list. Well, what if I, let's say, go to the web SDR list? If I click on that, it will take me within this software. I'm not in my browser. Within this software, it will take me to the source of those other radios all around the world. What do you think, boys and girls? And then if I say, okay, well, uh, I want to save one I like, like this one here, I just click on it and watch. Boom. I'm back rock and rolling at that guy's SDR radio. So I could put in literally hundreds of favorites and just click on one online SDR radio and instantly, instantly, it would let me tune and control his radio from my piece of hardware. God, I hope I'm explaining this properly because I'm impressed by this to no end. And one of the things that I did, I won't do it right now because it's a little, it's a little complicated actually because you know you just don't know where you're going to be heard at any given time. But I was on 10 meters this morning and I thought, let me try something. So I found a online SDR receiver on 10 meters and I transmitted and I called CQ, and I was watching myself on his waterfall and listening to myself, my audio. You know, that's the kind of thing that you just wish you could do at will, but wait for some guy to record you and play back. No, you can do that now. You can go to an online web radio, and because, you know, they're maybe half a planet away, you can then transmit, call CQ, whatever you need to do, and you can listen and watch yourself in real time. Uh, yeah, I think you know where I'm going with this. So, listen, I'm, I'm impressed by this. This is a keeper. This is going to stay up and running all the time because it really does help me tremendously with the little tiny display and managing all the online radio stuff that I do. So... Anyhow, it's called Cat Sync up by um, DJ0MV, a very smart man. And um, I'll leave a link below to that and OmniRig. And maybe I'll write up a little instruction manual just to show you how to get it done. Get her done. I'll put that on lady, uh, later. I need more coffee. It's in the morning. It's uh, almost 10 to 10 here in the fair city of Philadelphia. And uh, anyway, there you go. Cat Sync. Usual rules apply. Subscribe if you must, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.